Hello and welcome to today's special cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be diving into the Bitcoin charts together, going over the critical support and resistance levels that we have in front of us right now. Today is obviously a very special day. As for myself and many of the tramps, the World Series of Trading has begun. Officially, it started on Saturday. I took the weekend off to get ready for today. Ready I am. And obviously, I will talk you through the trade that I've taken today, which was a long position and it has increased my account thus far by 51%. That is a 51% account increase in a few hours of trading. So I'm going to talk you through that long trade today, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to love this video. It's special. And let's go into the analysis. So First of all, before we get into what is happening right now, cast your mind back to Friday night where I was obviously talking you through my thought process of exactly what I was expecting. I was telling you the highest probabilities are that we push to the upside. Obviously, we had that mini range going on, which funnily enough, we did get the swing failure pattern of the range high, okay, into the CC. And obviously from there, we, we pumped up uh, to, to make new highs. But overall, it all ended with that thought process of everybody that was shorting the retest of the trend line there literally did get, um, let's just say, wrecked. Because, you know, it was, that, it was that type of trend line which would just retail traders, the smaller fish, they're all looking at it. They're all excited to short the retest after trying to short the very low. That was their revenge trade. And well, both, obviously, both ones in the end didn't work out overall. You can pause the screen and read this lovely comment. Those are the insights that you get from myself. But, you know, it, was, it really was that case of recognizing what are the majority of people going to do. The majority of people are probably going to be wrong. I'm going to bet against the majority. And well, obviously, we were right. And we saw that push to the upside, obviously, a little bit of, you know, a bit of a range going on in the weekend. Overall, rejecting on the CME open yesterday. Obviously, you can see that high was put in at 23.00. That is the CME open. And obviously, with that CME opening, we have seen a drive to the downside today. So you might be like, Daniel, how did you get in that long position to increase your account in one day of trading by 50%? Well, I'm going to talk you through that now. And it was actually fairly, fairly simple trade. So this would have been at about quarter past uh, two earlier this morning. Well, earlier this afternoon, I suppose. First thing I told my group in the morning, given a daily update, and I said, I'm waiting for lower at the moment. I am waiting for lower. I'm not entering where we are at the moment. And that was obviously while we were in this area of consolidation. Then what happened was, well, obviously I recognized, right, now we're starting to get these entry triggers. What we've done was we pushed down into the bottom of the CC on the one-to-one -one extension. And I will show you this. So one-to-one -one extension on the bottom of the CC, that for me was the entry trigger. Okay, as you can see here with a bit of a zoomed in view, coming right down to the low there. And we literally mean to the absolute exact dollar bottom of the CC. I mean, I think we're, we've we got a lot of people heavily trading right now. What can we say? And so that was the reason I took that long entry. Okay. That was the reason. And I will show you all of this so you can actually see how to do this and line it up yourself. Okay. So we're obviously taking the Fibonacci retracement from the low of the last move on the 26th of August up to the high that was put in obviously on the weekend. Okay. From there, we have our CC level. And for the one to one extension, I'm taking it from the high that was put in on the weekend down to the low and obviously back up to that one to one high, which was put in on the CME open. Cast your minds back. As you will know, what was that low there from this low to that high? We obviously were um, not into the CC. That was a front row. Of course, I'm thinking of Friday. Excuse me, I'm thinking about this low. I, I, I did tell you, I didn't trade the weekend. It's a little bit of a jumble. Obviously, that low, sorry, that we put in here was the CC. Yeah. So when we when we bounce off the CC, obviously, I did trade that long off the exact low. Didn't trade any of this because I don't didn't trade the weekend. I wanted to be fresh for today. And I come back and there we go. Managed along the exact low of this one again. And so you might be thinking, OK, Daniel, brilliant. You've took that trade. You are in the current World Series of Trading. We are currently ranked number four in England and currently I am there uh, fifth in the group with about that 55-ish percent increase. And the way that I'm approaching this is personally, I have closed this long position. You might be wondering, why have you closed the long? If you've got a pretty decent entry, why would you close it? Well, the reason is because my initial thought process is, well, we have a potential range forming here with our range low and our range high. Okay. And really simply, I don't need to get too greedy on this trade. Yes, I kind of acknowledge the thing is what, what you know, I've been obviously updating my group. I've been speaking with my group today and they were a lot of people were questioning, like, why, why have you closed your long here? Don't you think we can go higher? And my answer, of course, is yes, we can go higher here. But that would be a new, different trade setup. For me right now, 
Firstly, it was a times 100 long position. So, uh, you know, I don't need to get greedy on this. You know, 50% account crease in the day. It's like we just need to focus now. And can it push higher? Yes. But for me, that is a new trading setup. And this is something that you can really learn. You need to really understand what I'm doing here, why I'm taking the entries, why I'm taking them, where I'm taking them, and like why I'm closing where I am. I'm closing here because I believe it's the range high. If we break this range high, that is then a new trade setup. No, that's a new trade setup. But for me personally, uh, you know, this this competition is 20 days long. There's no need for me to get greedy and hold on to trades. Uh, could I could, could I have I trailed my stop loss up? Yeah, of course I could have trailed my stop loss up. That could have been an opportunity. And obviously, if we just smashed through the range high, hey, you know, I personally would be absolutely no care in the world that I didn't trail my stop loss up. Um, you know, that for me is just the reason why I've closed at the top here. Because for me, this is obviously the range high. Then if we get a pullback, I can look for a new trade opportunity. If we go through the range high, well, then obviously I get a new different trading setup. That would be, that would be for me me a different trade idea okay obviously on the lower term time frames if we zoom out a little bit here well lowerish i'm going to stick on the 15 minute here we obviously can see we have that support you know i was we were looking here between the obviously the one to one the cc and the npoc which you basically got about this 47 200 as a pretty important uh support level what i noticed today is the low was actually put in when we done the retest of the low here on us open so you see here 230 was the time we got the retest um and you know naturally 230 was was the low on us open here um obviously if we look to the flip side of this uh where we could foresee a bigger resistance i'm not saying like this is a you know i haven't taken a you know, i haven't actually taken a short here it's just i've closed my long i i do believe that obviously there's the potential of pushing higher i'm gonna have to wait to see the reaction off of here i was mon monitoring it a bit earlier but i thought i want to do a really quick five ten minute video for everybody uh to update them on the situation so yeah no, we're coming back into the previous day value area i think this is just where we can monitor the reaction um you know we'll see how it goes off the last high i just wanted to get out with a limit order really to save on those fees but uh here we go if we get through this range high then obviously our next well our next layer of resistance would be obviously be this first cc which is about forty six thousand um sorry forty eight thousand about forty eight thousand seven hundred and forty five at the top of the cc and that would obviously coincide with the bottom of the cc being around here so we're looking at about forty eight thousand eight hundred forty eight thousand seven hundred again that's just the cc that's just one level uh like here we, we obviously need to see a little bit of confluence but currently we don't have you know great confluence on the upside what would you know the way that i would really approach this is um you know, be looking for, you know, really simply looking at the order flow like we had earlier today. Obviously, we had massive bullish divergences when we were forming this low as well. That obviously is another factor of confluence. So the way that I would be approaching this now is really simply monitoring the order flow as it's coming in here. Obviously, we have seen, you know, the open interest today has gone absolutely mental. Um, you know, EG, e there's no need to make any wild predictions for me here. You know, I'm just giving you this video is just a pure, honest opinion of me on the market and the way I have traded it today. And the way I'm trading it today is there's no need for me to make a wild prediction here of are we going to break the range high and go higher or will we reject here well let's just wait for the reaction and and trade the charts yeah uh it's really simply like here we could have really simply waited for the reaction enter times 100 long stop loss below the low and well that's exactly how i traded it so um you know now we now we just have to play the patient game and i know that's where the, some people struggle they can't they can't play the patient game we have to really put it simply if you want to do this properly now play the patient game yeah are we going to break this range high and look up towards probably the previous day point of control? Or are we going to actually reject off the range high? Maybe swing failure pattern, of course. And then we'll be looking back down towards the middle of our local range here. Obviously, this is about a five minute time frame range. It's nothing major, but, you know, I'm just sculpt trading here. Um, yeah, I don't want this video to go on for ages because I actually do want to get back and trade this. I just thought, hey, I have so many questions coming on in the group. It's really easy to just make a really quick video. Um, obviously, what I will say here, ladies and gentlemen, is if you do want to still join the World Series of Trading team, you can obviously join that. Uh, I think there's still space left in the team for like another five days to join. But obviously, the quicker you join, the quicker you can join in and, uh, you know, boost up our team. So if you want to join that, I'll leave it in the comments down below the link here uh, so you can... You know, you can, there, there is still time to create your Bybit account. And I'm pretty sure, let's just really quickly check together. I'm pretty sure you can still join this. Um, I think they've done like a, a late registration phase. So you can join in, sign up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it, it should all still be good. So yeah, I'm pretty sure you can still join in if you haven't already um yeah there we go so that was the really quick update if you if you've enjoyed this update if it's made no sense to you uh time to study let's just say that time to study if it's made no sense to you if you have enjoyed this update absolutely smash those like buttons really appreciate it ladies and gentlemen and uh yeah i'm obviously hyped to be in the world series of trading trading it today and uh 
yeah, we'll have to see how we go. Um, you know, it's a bit, you know, it's a lot of fun. Currently prize pool 2.1 million. We can probably get that to 2.4 million. If some of you join the team right now, let's bump this up to a 2.4 million prize pool. Uh, we need another need another only 300 more people to join to bump up another 300 grand in the prize pool so yeah come join the team if you haven't already lots of fun uh and yeah that's my trade that i've done today hope you have learned something from me talking you through this if you have you know what to do smash the likes but of course i have to stress no financial advice unfortunately i am not a financial advisor i am just a trader i'm just a good trader that likes to share and uh, so if you enjoy me sharing hey hopefully i've helped you and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely loving it. You can probably tell big smile on my face. And uh, yeah, thank you ever so much for watching, everybody. Uh, it's a real pleasure. I love you all. And I love this game. Trading is, is brilliant. Peace out, everybody. And CC Pool send their regards. Cheers. <laughs>